Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, here we are in, I guess it's called Fanal, uh, if they haven't to told us that, or Fanal. Fa now? Fano? I don't know, there's a W on the end of it. And we gotta talk to these hotties and uh, see about finding that Light Warden. Let's hop to it then. Almet, Olmet, and Cmet. Or Cymet. Which one's your favorite? I like Almet's hair the best. But Cymet's hair reminds me of my friend Shiggles' character. I think we got, what, what, we got cut off in the middle of, of this introductory cutscene last time. So, sorry about that. If I had remembered, I would have started in the middle of the cutscene, but uh, at last I did not remember. Uh, let's switch over to Dragoon, just to even up the XP a little bit. Clyde Wervenhide. <laughs> She's all taken aback by the name Clyde. The name Clyde actually wouldn't make sense, would, would actually be exotic in this fantasy world because apparently it, it's um, it's a name that comes from like the River Clyde in Scotland or something like that or wherever the River Clyde is, and we don't have the River Clyde in this fantasy world, so the name Clyde is actually way out of place here. Not that that's ever stopped them from implementing the name Clyde in a Final Fantasy game before, but you know. Actually, I had to look up name etymology because they announced the Final Fantasy 16 main character's name is Klein. And I was like, what's the difference? Like, that sounds, you know, that's just literally just a couple, you know, uh, basically a consonant away from being. Clyde. And no, it turns out they're different. Klein is some... You, I think it's from somewhere in the UK, maybe Irish. It means like those who de dwell in cl cliffs or something, or, or cl cliff dweller. And uh, Clyde is where the river Clyde. And oh, we had some lag there just now. It's not a good sign. I was pretty sure that Almet was the only one firing arrows. Neither of you have bows. She was obviously offering us warning shots. Maybe she thinks we're hotties. I mean, there are men in our company, and Fiera women don't see men uh, very often, so. Is that a sly, subtle Lord of the Rings reference? Keep it secret, keep it safe. Hmm. 
three three times longer than an Elodin. Hmm. Oh, but they they don't call themselves Vieras on the first. They call themselves Vs. your minute. Not in 30 years. Uh-oh. Minfilia being... Wondering about the age gap there. Got a little lesbian in our midst. No, I'm just kidding. She couldn't possibly be, be attracted to the girls, right? <laughs> Young enough to remember. <laughs> uh... Okay, is this going to be a talk to, like, three different people quest, or is this going to be time for Viera, um, you know, side quests? Now, that's the kind of age thing I can get behind. Women that get fully grown and look sexy as hell, and then they stay that way for like 250 years. That is top quality MILF. Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I like for now. It, it reminds me of uh, a couple of places in Final Fantasy XI. are red for some reason. So, oh, wait, wait. Not that now. I want to die. I just want to die the straps to the flag so they stop bugging me. As far as gear goes, uh, this is the point where uh, gear starts to take off and have more defense, some magic defense, and uh, The next dungeon uh, is where you'd want to get start, you know, actually caring about getting the dungeon gear, because uh, it'll be I four o, yeah, I four o six, I think. So six item levels per piece, and the weapons will actually have uh, more weapon damage on them as well. Uh, I think they'll even have more weapon damage than the relic we made in Pyros, which. Uh, at this point in the game's lifespan, weapon damage is at such a, a premium uh, that, uh, whereas substats have, except for critical hit, have way, way, way too much of a diminishing return. Uh, and your main stat, you know, it's nothing to weapon damage. So, like, if you get a weapon upgrade in the next dungeon, you want it. Why 
Why is there like this stuttering pause every time I talk to Yishtola? Some glitch? Got a bunch of general info about Light Wardens, and then this one really convincing story about Raktika Falls. Down a revel, huh? Rabble, rabble. Hmm. I think we actually are gonna get an instance battle before we deal with the Light Ward. Although it might be after. Pretty sure there's a fairly long instance coming up here. Go, got no time to waste. You saw the Mule Moor and Bastards. Our whole plan hinges on doing this before they get back, which they said what? They'd give us an, an entire day? I have no idea how you'd be telling time when it's always bright outside. Although I guess now you could go and wait in Lakeland and just be like, oh, yep, yeah, it's nighttime now. feeling that crawls up the back of your neck and like it's like both sides of your spine and then it like sort of you know stagger steps into your head and makes you like just like convulse slightly I guess or you know shake like really suddenly it happens to me sometimes and I don't know if it's like a nervous tick or like just something with my you know spinal column or, or what but it happens and then I like I don't know it, it's kind of like an ASMR feeling when it reaches the head but then I shake so you know like like the the shaking it's, it's not really shaking it's you know it's like a, a sudden you know spasm yeah that's the word I'm looking for a spasm I, I have a spasm and it uh you know, that sort of takes away the nice feeling completely. <laughs> I wonder if they were referencing any other fiction of these blue, this blue flower trail. Well, of course you're Stola. You didn't think we were going to get away without doing a few puzzles, right? Instead of orbs, they have, like, cubes. <laughs> They're basically angular alligans. Well, the Emperor isn't even alive anymore, honey. I go to the top of every pyramid and uh, make a sacrifice to the gods. No, uh, just have to transcribe our findings or whatever. In truth, I've forgotten the exact order of events here. Although, if it wasn't obvious, this is all based on, like, the architecture here is based on uh, South, South American, Mesoamerican, uh, no pyramid. I'm 
be careful jumping off these, because if you take too much fall damage and then instantly aggro like one of those cubes, you can actually kill yourself. So, I mean, I mean it's pretty hard to do, but it's possible. I've seen people do it. They aggro, they don't realize it, they go on to the next one. That's okay, my uh, my scriptwriter tells me exactly where to go. Which actually I'm thankful for because in old MMOs they never told you exactly where to go and uh, it might have been because I was young but it also might have just been because the game was fucking obtuse as fuck and, and didn't tell me anything uh, directly, ever, well hardly ever. Uh, you know, I just had to go to a, a website and look up what people had data mined about locations for um, you know for uh, quest result resolution there were some quests in Final Fantasy 11 and I swear to God if you didn't have a guide you were not completing that quest like like you might bumble into it someday <laughs> if you decided to explore every nook and cranny but most of the time, like, no, you're, just, you're not finishing. Like, just look it up and get it over with. Nah, I just stuck them up my ass. Well done, they are covered in poop. together, share despair, go thy ways, dread burdens bear, mark the crown, heed its call, avert thy gaze, forever fall. Mm -hmm. Got those animal statues again. Together, share a spare, go thy way, spread burden spare. Mark the crown, heed its call, avert thy gaze, forever fall. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, we'll pick the, I guess, the owl. I don't know why she's asking the blockhead to solve the puzzle. Basically to serve as a soft time gate. Yeah, yeah, it was that or the serpent. Pretty sure if you get it wrong, a little cube comes out and you have to kill it. But... Well, let me guess, the Yule Warrants are hot on our trail? I don't see how the Yulmorans could possibly offer the uh, Viera uh, a sport. Then again, Ranjit's really strong, so. 
Maybe we'll get to see an old man get beat up by hot bunny women. It's like the opposite of what happens to Hugh, Hugh Hefner. I hope that's not his kink, though. I don't want to give that guy any pleasure. This is probably the best part of Raktika, and I kind of wish there had been more areas like it in the zone, but I guess that would take away from the specialness of the, the Ronkin Ruins as intact as they are. Ancient Ronka is basically, if I hadn't said it before, it's basically the uh, first equivalent, rough equivalent of the Alagon Empire. You know, they just have different architecture and uh, one's a Final Fantasy V reference and the other is not. Yep, our way is barred again, that's for sure. Oh, yep. Okay, looks like we need a little owl statue. Chamber to the west. I thought it was to the east. Oh, okay. They're searching the chamber to the west. Very well. It's kind of nice that these wood bats are non-hostile. You don't see non-hostile enemies very often. But then we got these great wood rails, and that's kind of annoying, but oh well. Uh, when we pick this statue up, we're going to have a little mini game that we got to do where we can't be seen by any of the other owl statues. So it's kind of annoying, but... Ronkins can't ever make anything simple. How fast do y'all run? Y'all went the complete opposite direction. I, I do like Yishtola's new robe outfit and those green like feathers she has adorning her hair. Two minutes, huh? Well, hopefully I can get it done faster than that because I, I want to... I want to get most of this zone done in this recording. Uh, as far as it seems, uh, this recording won't be where... It ends. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to do another full recording, probably, to get through with Raktika. By my estimate, each zone is gonna take four or five recordings, uh, if not six, for the stuff I can't remember. Let's see. Okay, so we gotta go. This way. See, it wasn't that bad. Now unlock the instance battle, you slut. Oh 
yeah. Whisper weeds, huh? That's a Final Fantasy IV reference. Final Fantasy IV in the original Japanese, instead of the twin harp that Edward or Gilbert gives you when you go to face the Dark Elf in the Magnetic Cave, uh, he, he actually gives you a whisper weed. Personally, I like the idea of a twin harp better, but it's more bardy. Whisperweed is fine too. It didn't really matter what the MacGuffin was, but. Hey, it's like Palace of the Dead in here. <laughs> That's what it looks like, anyway. Now, basically, what we got are these Sentinels, and they move really fast. And if they see you, uh, you get like a curse penalty, and stuff happens. But, uh, they, they stop eventually, so you don't need to sprint by. And we won't be able to, to, uh... Uh-oh, two soldiers have broken through. It's probably Ranjit and his second-in-command. But yeah, they basically, you see how these things move? They basically have a movement pattern. And you just gotta sort of, you know... It's like a mini stealth game, basically. They can only see directly the way they're looking. And they don't aggro sound. So you just gotta be quick. And, you know, try not to sweat it. Move as fast as you can. You can always wait for sprints as well if you're not confident in your ability to get by without it. That's a big at big big ones. Uh, draw their attention with a glamour, huh? Very well. Run with all haste. That that means sprint. You could have just said sprint. You damn Charlie and bookworm. You stole the shadow clones, huh? I like that teleportation animation. It reminds me of the teleportation animation in Abyssia. Using the whisper weed, okay. That's gonna take me. The other corner, maybe? Nope, just back to the start. But these arrows, okay. I see. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Don't know why I had trouble reading that. One reason I do like this part, though, is 
is because it's not about combat. It's sort of a rare instance. It's not really an instance battle as much as it is, you know, instance uh, tomfoolery. Uh oh. Straight up Indiana Jones in this bitch. No, it's not even as big as the boulders I've had to deal with in the Alexander raids. Oh, cool, we get... We get full-time sprint. Okay, now, after the first ball, you just want to keep going. Because, like, it does not stop. There's, like, more balls. And you just, you know, you run the crevices. It'll immediately out. And I think we can make it down to the second crevice. Might be wrong. The boulders, they outpace you by a decent amount, so... Looks like I'm going to have to jump! Hey, we didn't take any fall damage. Too fast for you. That's some bull. How are they gonna even make it past the traps, though? I'm serious. Like, how how are they gonna make it past the traps? <laughs> at least, I guess maybe at least they will be, you know, slowed down by them. I would guess. If I had to guess, I bet the come in the back door and we have to fight them now. Right? Right? Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, it's annoying actually. Away with you. Doesn't look like they outpaced the Bee Sisters by much. <laughs> Got you see Simet and Woolmet are here fighting with us. Honestly, I think we could have beaten him to death. Now your soul is going to hold those two off, I guess. We'll check the heart of Tupasa. Or Tupesa? Yeah, maybe Tupesa. Tupesa. <sighs> there are too many words I don't know how to say. It seems to be working. I call BS. We were kicking your ass. Not. 
That's not how that works. I have that spell. Oh well. General, hold on. Hmm. How fortuitous. You triggered a trap. Expertly done. How was I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. Why are you talking to someone that you're supposed to be killing? Or trying Might to kill? Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? We poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. This is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are, and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. Now, now. Try anything here, and we're all likely to fall. Eventually someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Do we have a deal? We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit, as is yours. General? <laughs> that voice line was definitely... They did not get to see the scene that they were supposed to be reading it in. Do not fail. What about Ranji? You gonna leave me here to fight Ranji 1v1? How noble and pointless. Is everyone all right? What in the... Orioge! At once! Down with you! Not exactly how I remember that going, but I'll take it. Where, where is Yushtola? Yushtola go down the hole. Don't worry, I'm sure her marketing armor will have kept her safe. She is a cat girl after all. Bearing news, huh? Hmm. 
Oh, there's enough antidote to go around. There was only the one potion, you know. I wonder how many people truly thought Yustola was dead at this point. Because, like, we all know she can invoke forbidden teleportation magics at will. And, uh, I mean, obviously, <laughs> if she gets stuck in the live stream again, uh, she'd be uh, shit out of luck. But, I mean, she's not trying to teleport two people at once, right? And there's no... Minfilia running in at the last second to get, you know, teleported off to Heidelin by Heidelin's will, so there's less stuff mucking around with this one. Surely, surely she used her teleportation while falling and, and it went fine, right? <laughs> or are we gonna have to go see the first version of, like, the real Matoya and get a crystal eye and go looking for her again or some shit? Oh, hey, it's Runar. And he's been poisoned. Poor chap. take the dies, or we could just take the money. It's not much money, but I mean, it's teleport money, so that's good. And I was hoping we'd get to the dungeon unlock in this video, but we've only got, like, what, like 18 minutes left, tops? I don't think we're gonna make it. Why can't we just Asuna the, the poison out of him? <sighs> yeah, whatever. That literally just happened. We don't need to see a memory sequence about it, dude. Runa, thank goodness. I guess I guess Clyde having a memory sequence about her though is showing that he's genuinely concerned about her or cares about we her. We delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did. We would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems, when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. Be a while longer. No. No, I am all right. Somewhat heavy of limb, perhaps, but otherwise well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. Do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened to her?
Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? You should totally go down the hole. No. No. No, that cannot be. Why would she do such a thing? Was there no other way? I... I cannot believe that she... Yeah, she did the thing. We must begin the search immediately. I will come with you. What are you waiting for? We must find her. She could be trapped or hurt or... She is alive. She is alive, damn you. Forgive me for interrupting, but our scouts have apprehended an intruder. We thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. I'm gonna always have to make an entrance. Gonna just ask you and teleport right next to us. Oh, look who it is. Wow, this is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. Yeah, you just got a weakness for hot bunny women, don't you? So, what trouble have you gotten yourselves into this time? Our friend fell down a bottomless pit. Well, well. What an intriguing turn of events. My condolences, by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. But to us, she was a friend. The best of friends. something on your mind. What is it? Pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. I just told you, you slack jod Elf? Flow. The teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Interesting. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. You can sense the live stream? I felt it only once, I should mention. Which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. Are you fucking kidding me? She can't get it right twice in a row for herself? Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. For it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. You mean the grace of Kani Sena and the Pajali? Fuck the elementals. Fuck them. Oh. 
Ah, oh, very well. I'll go and fetch her. Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. Well, he has an earring, but it's in his left ear. Clearly, Emmett Selk is not gay. Falcon reference. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's a good thing that uh, I'm not actually in this world doing this quest myself because I cannot whistle in real life. Uh, struggle as I have made, it's like my teeth alignment, my lip alignment, and size and stuff, I just cannot whistle. I'd have to go buy a whistle whistling instrument just to just to do this. I think it's, uh, it's like somewhere along the, uh, path here, it's, I want to say it's either like right here or maybe a little further down. I like that they use the whistling sound effect from Final Fantasy VI. It's also associated with the shadow, which is where I, you know, got the name Clyde. I thought of the name Clyde. From. Wish the music would stop. Wish it would have stopped during the voice lines. <sighs> now then, what color was her soul again? If you can rematerialize her entire body, why can't why can't you do the same for her clothes? 
In fact, why are you able to rematerialize a body that she doesn't actually have? He, he's done it. He's so brought her back. Remember, the Scions right now are essentially phantoms, a Aether phantoms, sim somewhat similar to, you know, eth physical beings composed of Aether, like primals, almost. Almost. And, you know, that's a weird, wishy-washy plot explanation for why they're physically here without having physically, been, you know, been being totally called over. But, you know, this is bothers me in the extreme. Not only did he remember the color of her soul, but he remembered exactly what her clothes were. Ishtola, are you alright? imagine how what happened thou didst invoke the power of flow which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream I wanted to save the antidote and after that <laughs> I did something exceedingly reckless for which you will just have to forgive me why didn't you just use a, a regular teleportation spell and teleport to the Aetherite Slither Bow? There's no way you could say that it, it wouldn't work, because if, if crazy teleportation works for, for her, you know. Master Matoya! Oh, thank the heavens, you're all right. I had nearly given up hope. Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? How can you tell her he's crying? Come now. Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? Emmet Selk, the Asian of whom I spoke, t'was he who plucked thee from the life stream. I see. Thank you. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life. And for that, I am grateful. But let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the Katana Ravel. You had better not have explored its depths without me. What would you do if we had...